meeting provides an opportunity to, to pause and consider the path of our great party's achievements as well as challenges that are confronting us. The SPLM has a proud history. We might not have fought the liberation war to its logical conclusion, but we led our people in a war of liberation for 21 years with conviction, determination, and heroism that won us not only the freedom, but also recognition and credibility internationally and even from our own enemies. More importantly, the current SPLM-led government has made substantial progress since 2005. We established government institutions where there was none. This means building the core functions of the state, strengthening and laying its foundation of good governance, rule of law, human rights, delivery of services to our people, and prudent economic management. These are the core values and principles that we fought for and our martyrs died for. Let us not betray them. We, we, we propose a collaboration of general secretariat of all South Sudanese political parties to comprehend the challenges and to strategically navigate against the tsunami tiger waves of the changing context and demand in our endeavor to realize our goal. This is a goal of peace, harmony, and inclusive prosperity for all South Sudanese. We plan to engage faith-based leadership and congregation in seeking solutions. We shall engage the media, youth, the women, the students, the business community, the urban and rural population and the traditional authority leaders to rise to the expectations in finding amicable solutions. It is our hope that able members of South Sudan, regional and international uh, communities shall grant us their wisdom and material support to perfect our abilities and methods to meet the expectations. <laughs> Don't 
Sudan. On behalf of the SPLM shelter in, the, uh, in, the, in Nebraska, many of our members have defected to the SPLM in opposition, including our shelter leaders. We still have some diehard members who, have, who are committed to this party since day one. I do not blame the defectors because many of them do not know what this party stands for and what its members have done to bring change in our country. We forget that we are the party of Dr. John Garan, the party of Salfakir Mayadid, the party of Jim Iswani, the party of William Yon, the party of Paul Mignan, and the party of Jim Iswani. And our principles and dreams about this country are stronger and clearer to bring our people together collectively as one family, <coughs> and one tribe, under one nation with a common goal. Today I support Salva Kirno because he is from Bahuria. I support him because he was elected by the people from Yei, where I come from. He was elected by people in Juba, Malacca, everywhere. I respect him as our president. That is what I want to happen. I don't want to be a leader. Number one, I work here for the county. I work for the disadvantage. Let me be, be honest with you. And when I work here, I see how the government is taking care of the poor people. And I look to my country, I cry. And I feel the same thing could be done to my people there. That is a cause, each and every one of you. You don't have to cry for money, you can fund our system in South Sudan, social system, and things can be done in South Sudan. If we are united, if we are not divided, and that is the unity we are crying for here. When this initiative will drive this organizing committee that I'm part of, was only one thing and one thing only. I'm in leadership in Ohio. I see <coughs> SPLA since my childhood. You can see my gray hair now. The you same thing that happens today. You can see here. I'm fighting. <laughs> I'm trying to hide. <laughs> I'm trying to hide. <coughs> what drives us as leadership of the SPLM and different chapters is only one thing to see our party united to see a reflection of South Sudan in the SPLM it has to have other tribes it should not be decanized only um, uh, obviously, there is a lot uh, that actually we can, that can be said. <coughs> Certainly, you know, and I think I had voiced this personally to some others, to somebody else, that, you know, for whatever reason, there is a very bad culture among us South Sudanese. We tend to fight over leadership all the time. And I'm old enough especially to note, you know, in the, in the 60s especially, you know, you can see I'm graying up uh, on my head. And um, I have some accumulated some experience and some uh, observations as I grew up over the years. And I remember during the Nyanya movement, it's almost every other week there was somebody declaring this or her own government. At, at that time, there were no women, but it was mostly men at the time. <laughs> you know? All these men, I am the leader of so, I am the president of so. And we are civilized in a civilized state. We should not. We are the people that are going to change that country. So the changes start from us here. We should start here. Because we are people. <coughs> like now, there is a problem in, in, in South Sudan. We have many people here with friends, American friends, whoever friend we have here, 
with the, we have doctors here, we have engineers, we have the, the electricians, we have uh, and, a, and a part of the uh, uh, tech, uh, technology that we have made here. We are very powerful, the government of Sudan, South Sudan. How are we going to be respected? We cannot come together that what if that when we have an issue like what is happening now in the country, we select a certain number of people here, say go there, tell them this is what you want. And what we want, we will have dagger with the government of America. We have this. So please, brothers, <coughs> let us accept the change. Because those changes are now. We shall adopt the government. We shall have a system to control. We shall go to the air. 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 With the time, I'm getting old now. I was uh, some years back. This young man was very small. You know, one of the red <laughs> army guys. He was very small. I was only my uh, DD. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when they bought, when they set the higher end, the guys came to town. Now they were the one to build their own castle. Uh, so I don't want to pick up my own and my own. I shall link in the Masam Tamai, link in the Shugo. And my dear, the town, the Gaudai, the Kataras of Fijina, the Rasta Kage, the Gutur Bera, Gulua Fabata, Yenki, the Maliki, Kunta Rata, and if you put it up. And here we reach a masquerade. But you know there are things that we don't need actually uh, to compose ourselves among us here, there are some uh, members who like to compute things. But they don't accept the care. Because human beings are huh? grown with changes. Otherwise, the automatic around there, don't you have kind of thing? I've always said and I've always believed that the power of the SPLM in the USA belongs to the chapters. When the chapters choose to sit aside is where the problems never get solved. But when the chapters come together like this, under the leadership of Dude and Lawrence Moga and Sandy Tabu, Justin Makere and many others, I believe that today is the end of the problems of the SPLM USA. So thank you.